What's up guys? Not Jason with Inline Defense and I got a great one for you today. Today we're going to be looking at the Greyman Tactical Rigid Molly Panels that fit in a car. Let's check these things out. So Greyman Tactical sent us a bunch of cool stuff. I'll uh, throw a link up here. We did a review of their backpack panel and compared it with the Vertex panel. Love their stuff. So they were kind enough to send us these panels and all the accessories that you see uh, that's gonna be installed today. All right, but enough playing around. Let's get on the bench top. Let's check out these panels. Let's check out the accessories that they sent us and let's put these things together. All right, so this is what's gonna be going on the driver's side panel. Uh, so this is the top over here, and Greyman Tactical sent us, look at that. You have these back spaces, they're going to go underneath. Alright, there we are with our LA Police Gear plate carrier or defense mechanisms placard that's going to look nice on that panel what do you think All right, so now with the helmet hook i don't have a fancy helmet like walsh got yeah. old school helmet but kind of the same thing here so you have your your nut plates your brackets right the attachment hook so we're probably gonna do something like that kind of yeah we'll center it up all right so same thing you have your your backer plates you know, however you want to lift up the panel slide this down Get it positioned where you want it. Okay, there's one in. <clears throat> Second one. Yeah, something like that. This goes on top. <clears throat> All right, so had to find a screwdriver. There we go. So that's going to be our setup for our driver's side. Let's do something like that. I'm not entirely sure how we'll, we'll hang that helmet, but we'll figure that out when we get it into the car. All right, here we are with the passenger side panel. So I kind of have my my backers, the back plates in where I want them. So at the bottom here, this is the butt stock adapter that you can mount to this thing. Uh, allows you to just have this rest right in there, this beautiful gun that I'll show off here shortly. That's kind of cool. They also include this six inch extension. So you can, if you got a long gun, a hunting rifle or something like that, you can extend it down this far uh, from the bottom. So it's a cool thing that they, uh, that they sent in with, with this. And then this plate, this uh, buttstock adapter just sits right in here as so. And then you just can mount that on there. So the whole thing just hangs down a little farther if you got one of those longer guns. We're not going to need that today, so um, we're going to set it aside, but it is kind of nice that they offered this. So with these things, you just got to make sure that you have them set up for the whole pattern. If you put them both in the same way, they actually won't fit through these holes. So figure out where we want it. We're going to want it down here at the bottom, and we'll just put the buttstock adapter like that. Now here at the top, this is kind of a cool system. This little rubber part that goes around the handguard. Uh, again, just make sure that your back plate is set up appropriately. Look at this beauty. So this is the 50 Beowulf 
and Joe Saracoded one of these for each member of the team. Uh, I just love this thing. So this is what I'm going to be showing off in our mount here. So just kind of figure out how you want it positioned. Again, where the butt plate adapter is going to be, where this is going to go. Just kind of figure out. So that's where it's going to sit on the handguard. And then the butt stock adapter is going to sit. Yeah, just like that. I think it's going to look really nice once it's in the vehicle. So, but we'll see. Kind of nice that they, they have that. Uh, I'd like to see it not just in raw aluminum, but in other colors as well. So, and that's where we want it. Now, this rubber piece, I kind of like. Um, I'm not sure how I want to put it in the vehicle. If I want to have it so I can grab the rubber piece and pull it towards me while I'm sitting in the driver's seat, or if I'm gonna want it um, flipped around, get this thing off, flipped around and push it away from me. Um, I think it would secure better. It might be easier to pull away, but pushing it away from me, I think it would secure better, or it might be easier to push it away. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, so, but I think we're going to mount it where you got to push it away from you while you're sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, we'll see how it secures. I'm going to show, so one of the other attachments that they sent that we're not using is just this buffer tube adapter. So you can mount this just like we mount, we're mounting the rubber on the top. And it's just a smaller rubber, I don't know, gripper that goes around your buffer tube. Um, so if you wanted to have a gun with the buffer tube up, uh, you know, it's just same thing. Same thing we're doing up here. We could do it down below, or we could have this on top and have the barrel pointing down. Uh, I just like the buttstock adapter, so we're gonna go with the buttstock adapter and have the handguard sitting at the top. But this is a cool option that they they sent us as well. Okay, now we know where the, where the gun's gonna go. We wanna put some other stuff down, so I'm thinking about putting the first aid kit here. This is that My Medic, My Fact Pro I did a review on. Again, we'll throw a link up um, that I, uh, a link to the review that I did. Great little uh, first aid kit that can handle pretty much anything that I'm going to see while I'm in a vehicle. So, gotta include this. Uh, now, a magazine. I think I wanna put a magazine on here. I'm not sure where, not this, um, magazine holder. I'm going to have another one obviously that Molly's on. Just trying to give it get an idea of where it can sit. Yeah, maybe right there. Maybe a little lower. The MyFact Pro magazine. I'm thinking a general purpose pouch. So there's this large utility pouch that Greyman Tactical had sent us. Um, would work fine here. Obviously it's something that they have developed to work with their panels. It's a great pouch. I've I like it. Uh, any molly pouch will work though. So we have this Kanai pouch here, this general purpose pouch that I have. You know, and the nice thing about this, you can molly it sideways. You can molly it going up and down. I'm thinking that I want the space for a magazine. Not sure if I'm gonna want the magazine down below and have the pouch above it. All right, so we got this backer. Let's see here, these nut plates are on, so just you know, kind of, I decided to have it where I'm gonna push this rubber piece away. Um, so again, with these nut plates, you gotta flip them upside down or, you know, they don't have to be the same way. Um, in this instance, I have one nut plate flipped upside down in order for the holes to line up with this rubber piece. And then just get a long screwdriver like I'm gonna have here to be able to screw it down to these, these nut plates. Uh, make sure that when you're using the screws that come with this, you also use the included washers, so you kind of evenly distribute that clamping pressure that you're creating with these with these screws. So there you go, just kind of eyeballing it. Yep, Get the screwdriver down, tighten this down. You don't want to over tighten this, like you could really crank on this thing and just squish that rubber. I'm not doing that, I'm just getting it where it's just snug, and then maybe go on a full turn more. That should be should be plenty. And then we're just gonna do the other one the same way. Just screw this down. Uh, yeah, it's sitting on there a little tighter. Let's go a little tighter on that. Just another couple turns, both of those. 
This, uh, that one's a little, t yeah. Okay, that should be good. Maybe we'll loosen this one a little bit and make sure that that washer is centered in there just fine so that way it's, it's evenly distributing that pressure. There we go. That looks good. All right, got the MyMedic MyFact Pro backing attached. <clears throat> I do have the uh, handguard adapter on. So I was going through the, the bag of stuff that Grayman Tactical sent us, trying to figure out how to get a magazine on here. And they have these little Velcro attachments. Now, I didn't see in the instructions on specifically what these are used for. I'm hoping that it's something like this. But they have some longer ones <clears throat> that I ran through my STAC mag pouch. So my thought here, mount this right underneath the MyFAC. All right, got the STAC mag pouch on. Use that Velcro that I showed off. Just kind of brought it back on itself. Not sure how well this is gonna hold up. I don't think that I'm gonna be running drills. So, this is kind of a pain to insert a mag, but it's an S tac mag pouch. So maybe something that's gonna be a little less, little, little less tight on mags would work better here, but this is what I have. And I think it's gonna be great for holding a mag. All right, so now decide on a general purpose pouch. And I kind of want to leave a little bit of space to get hands in here. So instead of going with the Gray Man Tactical, their large pouch that they had sent, I'm gonna go with this Kanai pouch and probably mount it, I don't know, probably like that. So let me do that, show you what this looks like. All right, as you can see, I changed my mind. I ended up going with the Gray Man Tactical, their large pouch they sent. Um, I just like the organization better than the Kanai pouch. And a cool feature about this pouch is it's kind of a quick disconnect. So instead of Molly, you just have snaps right here. <clears throat> so if I really wanted to, I didn't really do a bunch of weaving. I did kind of in and out once or twice, but I could just, Und, you know, reach behind the panel, unsnap those, and probably pull this whole pouch out with me. So um, that was a perk for me. All right, let's get everything on here and see what it looks like. All right, here we are. I got the my pack. Got some space here for some pistol mag pouches. Maybe another AR mag. This gun looks beautiful on here. And then you got this general purpose pouch down at the bottom. So I really like the way that this turns out. All right, so the biggest pain of this whole setup has got to be these straps to be able to strap it to the back of your seat. So the first part's easy, you just kind of weave it through itself, but then you got to fold it, not fold it, but go over itself and go back through to tighten it up. And this is where a pair of needle nose pliers is definitely needed. So uh, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer and see me try to put this one through. I'll get these all connected on all the panels and I'll show you installing it on the, the car. So what do you think? This is like super awesome. I think you've had a lot better ideas. What? What do you mean? Look how easy it is to access everything. That's exactly what I mean. We have children. You know, the ones that touch everything and make messes. Yeah. I didn't. And need to have goldfish and sippy cups and french fries. What do you mean this thing? It has everything that I need. It has my body armor, there's a gun, there's an extra magazine, a first aid kit even. How about a place for a juice box or fruit snacks for when we have the real world meltdown in the supermarket? Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. I guess you do drive this thing more than I do. Every day. You, you want to take it out? Yeah, the, the gun's got to go. Okay. What's up, guys? So in the vehicle, it's going to stay in for a while. It's just buckles. So you go around the top. It's still set to the minivan. Buckle it in place. 
grab the strap, pull it tight. It's about good. Now, this bottom strap, again, just buckle. I'm gonna run it around. Make sure that when you get it uh, around on the whatever side the seatbelt's on, you go between the seat and the seatbelt. I'm gonna open up the front door, bring it around. Get it, get it down here, pull it tight, get it between the seat and the seat belt. All right, and then buckle it in and hope that's tight enough. Uh, it's, it's not bad. All right, let's see what it looks like. With the gun in it. A little loose. Let's tighten that bottom up. And again, it's just a strap, so I'm gonna pull it where I think it should be. I have to hit my head too many times. How's that? A little better? I like that. So the question I have now, how easy is it to access this thing? Grab here, push. I'm glad I did that to push away. Hand guard kind of falls into my hand. Yeah, not bad. If I had a smaller gun, it'd be a lot nicer, but come on. Who wants something smaller than a 50 Beowulf? Oh, strapping it in nice all right guys that was a fun one for me to to put together to review to even share it with my wife a little bit uh, she had a lot of fun having her little part in this um, I I was going through the stuff that Greyman Tactical sent us and I showed everything on camera except for one thing so they also included these d-ring uh, buckle adapters the idea here is you can take your headrest off and um, put this, you know, put the headrest, the, the metal part that goes into your seat through the D-ring. But there's no adjustability with these. Um, so it's kind of wherever it hangs is, is where it hangs. So you got to be happy with that. Could be easier. Um, now, something that they did not send us, I didn't ask for it. So this isn't uh, faulting them at all. They do have this metal bar that uh, pinches between, uh, excuse me, pinches the headrest. And it seems like it would make this panel a little bit more secure. Obviously, you know, you don't want to be leaving your vehicle unattended with a firearm in there because it's not secure. They do have options to secure your firearm. Note that if you use the buckle system and then a system on the panel to secure and lock your firearm, Someone could just unbuckle the whole panel and take off with it. So if you're gonna go that route, I would go with the more secure, what seems like the more secure um, metal piece that kind of pinches on the headrest. Now, uh, still, you know, kind of easy to take off. You just pull the headrest off and it seems like you could walk away with it. Uh, but it would take them a little longer, I would think. Now, I love these panels and I love the capabilities that it brings to your vehicle. The storage that it brings, it's just, they look awesome too when you get it all set up. So you're gonna be seeing these a lot more on this channel. You're gonna be seeing us use them a lot more when we go through the different plate carriers that I'm gonna be reviewing. We'll see them on that plate carrier adapter that Greyman Tactical provided. So as we wrap up this video, guys, I just wanna say a huge thanks to Greyman Tactical for supporting our channel like this, sending us out all this cool stuff to show off and review for you guys. And I wanna thank you guys, the viewers, if it wasn't for your your comments and your support through Patreon and the YouTube membership, we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. So I appreciate every single comment. I appreciate every single like. You guys make these videos possible. And um, you know, I'm not blowing smoke. We really, really appreciate it. The team loves the support that we get from our viewers. So thank you guys. So in the last word, I just wanna say, please hit us a comment down below if you have used Grayman Tactical, what you think about their panels. 
Check out their website and see if there's any other accessories that you'd like us to show off on the channel. I'm sure those guys would be more than happy to, to help us out with that and, and show those things off. Uh, but until then, we'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it. I, I messed it up by laughing. Oh, I thought I was doing good. Yeah, you were doing awesome.